Good morning, we're excited to have you with us. Normally I do my intros outside, but it's like super rainy and like tropical storm bands and super duper humid. So here we are inside the car, we are getting ready to leave. We're gonna make one of those meat and cheese boards. So we invite you to come along with us as we figure out where to get everything to make this board look nice. And I hope you'll enjoy it. If you do, like, subscribe and share, hit the bell and you'll know when we post. Come along with us, couple. Are you enjoying this experience? Okay, I want a bouquet of flowers. No, not those. I like these. Do I like those? Can you make some berries? Got some veggies. Red or green? Or both. Red. Blueberries, lots of berries. Um, big orange slices? Yeah, big orange slices. The lemons are more to keep everything else from brown. Ooh, caramelized onion dip. Yeah, kiwis with lots of olives. Greek olive nutty. He likes olives. So, so we're gonna get this too. Probably that one. Looks good. Meat. Thing of a time. It's hot sticks. 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 It's all this cheese. Yeah, there's like, a lot of like this kind of cheese. Blue vanilla cream. Okay, here's Gouda. This is goat's milk Gouda. I don't know if you want that. Oh, here's a good salami. Cheese, the Gouda, 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 the and then we gotta just get a plain cheddar for a Just a mild cheddar. That's good for kids. Hmm. I don't know if that's good. I can't even say that, but we're gonna try it. It's our test. We've never done one of these. I know, this is our, our first ever experience. Yeah. Eli's gonna hold the baguette. I don't know what we're gonna butter. We always butter. Honey, come in. Yeah. Looks good. Hot and sweet pepper jelly. Honestly, these are just Dave's favorite food in the world, especially this kind. So. I think these are pickles. Cornish. Yeah. We're gonna go to pickles. Artichoke hearts and black olives. Mango and figs. I don't like figs, but they say that figs go on it, so. Chocolate. Break it up, put it on. So this is our haul for our cuterie board. 
it, at least that's how I think you say it. That's how we looked it up and that's how the person said it. So that's how I'm gonna go with for the rest of the video. So for our drives, we have we have stone ground wheat crackers. We have the classic water crackers, just simple. We have a pita bite crackers. We have Italian breadsticks with olive oil. So those. And then we have an artesian style baguette. And if you didn't know, this is all from Trader Joe's, all this. So onto our meats. So we have Capicolo, Del Duco, and Calabresa salami. And this is the Italian version. Um, we have chorizo, we have another del duco, salsa chim. This is Spanish style, so we have this. And then we have um, some prosciutto. This is a more salty prosciutto. And then we have this prosciutto, which is less salty. And then for the last meat, we have a supersada salami. And all of these meats are also from Trader Joe's. For our dips, we have a pepper jelly. We have a caramelized onion dip. And some honey with the honeycomb inside. So the honeycomb looks really good and it also tastes great. So like the honeycomb is still in there. And you can just like put it on a dish and like people can eat it with their cheese, which tastes really good. And yeah, honeycomb. So the last thing for the fruit or the sweetness is the kiwis and oranges. For our sweet, we could have put the honey with the sweet, but we decided to put it with the dip. Um, we have mango, so this is dried out mango slices. We have dried fig, which I don't, not a fan of fig, but dried figs, which I'm not really a fan of figs, but Apparently it's supposed to be really good on a charcuterie board. So, you have dried figs. We have just plain blueberries, all organic. We have some red grapes. They will look great on the board. We have raspberries and some 72% dark chocolate. We're gonna break it up and put it on the tray and it like gives it a dark, not a dark, a a bitterness to the sweet, and it's really good. These are our antipastos. The first thing we have is capers, which are one of David's favorite foods. We have capers. I think it is his favorite food. We have a Greek olive medley. So it's just a bunch of olives in there. We have just plain black olives that are pitted. These are sweet jerkins. Um, I think they're like pickles, like tiny pickles. But um, yeah, so there's that. And then for the last thing, we have artichoke hearts. We have a like medley of almonds, pecans, pistachios, and so for our nuts, we have a medley of almonds, pecans, and pistachios. We have just a bag of roasted almonds and some pistachios. For the star of the tray, which is all of the cheese, we have a mild Wisconsin cheddar, which is for the little kids because they don't like these like sharp, good cheeses. They just like plain old mild cheddar. So you have that for the little kids. We have a triple cream brie cheese. So it's gonna be a really creamy cheese, which I like really creamy cheeses. Um, there's that. We have a red wax Dutch Gouda, so that's really good. We have a Dubliner, which is an Irish, it's an Irish cheddar, so an Irish cheddar. We have a cum tea. This is a raw French cheese. It's been aged for over 180 days, so this is probably going to be bitter. We have a Borzen garlic and fine herbs. So this one is more creamy. So we have a Dutch smoked Gouda, which it looks really good. 
This is a cheddar cheese aged and has hints of Parmesan, so I think that'll taste really good. And then one of Dad's favorite is a blueberry vanilla shrimp. So this is one of Dad's favorite. We normally only get it at Christmas time because we could only find it at Christmas time, but we found it and I'm really excited to get it done. So now, what are you going to do? Prepare the board. What do you guys think? Good. So this is the end product, and we hope you make it so good. And here's the bread we did separately. Some really fin fancy finishing touches, Veronica. That looks really amazing. And our little sangria for mom and dad. That does not look well good. Well, good. Well, this looks really good. It looks gorgeous. What do you guys think? It's good. Delicious. It's a win? Yes. Yeah. What does a little bit think? Do you like this lunch? So we're glad you came along with us. We shopped for and made our meat and cheese board and got it all together. If you like the videos, like, subscribe, and share. You can hit that bell and you'll know when we post. Get everything we saw here at Trader Joe's. And you can have one of these beautiful boards for yourself. I hope you're wholly happy and healthy. God bless.